And what did the police say to you that you'd been accused of? They'd said, I'm okay with what they said. It was, um, it was, um, it's more that it had come from my children. Uh, they'd said, um, I, uh, I'm the leader of a satanic, uh, satanic sex cult, uh, paedophile ring. And there's 100 and plus uh, involvement in this, including CAFCAS, the police, uh, social services, uh, school, um, and I'm the, I'm the leader of this. Now, what Dearman just said is not true. The transcripts of the police interviews show that cult allegations were not even mentioned at Barnet Police Station on the 15th of September. During this interview, Dearman was asked to respond to allegations made by his eight-year-old son that were never retracted regarding incidents that had happened at East Finchley Swimming Pool. This seems to be quite an open-minded establishment. In fact, Finchley Lido was the first swimming pool to introduce gay nudist days and events. Here are the allegations that dear mum was being questioned about. Do you know East Finchley Swimming Pool? I know it. Is it near the cinema? Is it? In, I know where the swimming pool is, but I haven't been there. So, how old were you when you went there? Four years old. Yeah, and so old. how old would your sister have been? When I was um, three, old. my sister's one year older than me. So she would have been what five? If I was four, she would have been five. If five. I'd been five, she would have been um six. And who would go with you, my your dad. sister and your dad? My dad. Anyone else? No. So three of you would go, and when you no, get... no, no, not three of us only. Are the people they did sex to us? Okay. And are they people anyone knew, or are they just? Well, I know them. How do you know them? They put my dad's friends and I would, okay. and the people from my school, my teachers. Oh, okay. So, and would you wear your swimming suit to the swimming pool or get changed there? No, there's a changing room and he used to touch us there. Okay, so there's a changing room. Yeah. And you said... Um, it's really big, really. Okay, big. so it's you and your sister. Yeah. And I, as I said, I, I haven't been there. So tell me... Was your sister allowed to go in the same changing room as you, or did she have yes, to go in the girls' yeah, ones? No, 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 no. My dad, my sister, and me were in the changing room. So you go for your swim. Yeah. So where does the sex happen then? In the changing room, yeah. and um, also in the toilets. The mm. disabled toilet. In the disabled toilet. Yeah. And who does that? My dad. My the, my dad's friends. Your dad and your dad's friends. Yeah. Okay, so tell me about one of the times you can remember at the swimming pool when this happened. Lots of times, I don't tell, know. Is there one that's, that you remember best? About no, I don't like them. I don't like them under. So in the Barnet interview, Dearman is explaining to DC Savage about the trip to the swimming baths and how he communicated with Richie, the social worker, about buying clothes, buying swimwear for the children. Dimon also described in the interview to DC Savage that he did not have a lot of money at the time, allegedly because he'd just been burgled. And Spy, the social service, um, he sticks um, a plastic willy right inside my bottom and I can feel it on my belly. Who does this? Spy, the social service. Just and what about this fellow Richie from the social And Richie, there's a... There's a Man called Richie, and these are our social services. Does he come to your school? And he comes to our, yeah, he comes to our school, yes, is that true? He comes to our school, and he does sex to us, and he's, um, he knows a Papa. Fellow from the social service? Yes, and um, he comes also to He the knows your father? How does he know your father? You know, they met somehow, when we wasn't with Papa, they met, and then they got better friends, and better friends, and better friends, and better friends. 
This is the transcript of the police interview where DC Savage is interviewing um, Dearman and the questioning goes in the direction of why did he choose a larger than normal changing room to change with his nine-year-old daughter and eight-year-old son. There's quite a lot of stuff there that seems important so I'm not going to read it out, just stop the video and uh, read it yourself. Towards the end of the interview, after talking about possible cosmetics or products that may have been used, um, Dearman admits that there was a hair wax that he can't remember, but possibly used on himself and the children, which seems a little bit odd in, in the way that it was brought up. And after listening to his son's retraction, which isn't a retraction at all, in the case of the Finchley swimming pool, then it seems to bring up more questions than answers. Your children were interviewed on three separate occasions by the police. On the first and second occasion, they made the allegations about you. Yes. Abusing them, sexually abusing yes. them, being the leader of this satanic cult, yeah. various other adults involved. Yes. Abused in all sorts of places, fast food restaurants, yeah. churches, swimming pools. It's swimming baths, yeah, yeah. sure. sure. How do you know it's glue? I feel it's sticky after. Right, so you feel it's sticky? Yeah. And what else makes you think it's glue? Like it's like watery. Like... So why can it be something else other than glue? What makes it definitely glue? Um, because it's sticky and because it's like smudgy. Like. And where? And who does that? My well, my dad smudge, um, smudges my bottom. He like he like he stretches my bottom really hard. Remember, we're only talking about in yeah. the disabled toilet. Yeah, that's what happens. And he okay. stretches my bum really hard. So my bum is really stretchy, and like stretch really hard. Right. Long. You said something else was put in the plastic willies or something. What does yeah. that mean? Do you know what, what a willy is? Yes. They put plastic willies in my bottom, and then they like, and then it bleeds after they take it out. And how do they get it in your bottom? They, they stretch it, and then they put it in. Right. And so they put it in. Yeah. And how does that feel? Really hurting. And they oh, also much. tell me to suss their willies, the real ones. They really to what? They also tell me to suss their willies, the suss. real ones. What yeah. does that mean? They suck. Suck. The two, the real ones, not the plastic ones. And who makes you do that? My dad, all the, all the mans. All the mans. But the ladies tell me to lick the middles. What does that mean? Like, li do you know the middle, like between your bottom and your front private? Do you know the middles? He tells me to lick it. And A the, lady. The, yeah. This is Gabriel's retraction video from the 17th of December, oh, okay. 2014. And what about, you told me about obviously the swimming pool, you told me lots of people in these disabled toilets and they've done stuff with you. Yeah, willies. yeah, they're, they're done, but that's true. This is true, yeah. It's true. Yeah. Even though you said you was only four and you hadn't been to that school. No, those, they, have, they had like, they, they were friends, like. So Dearman totally avoids the question put to him by Victoria, which was, what did the police say to you? And carries on to explain the allegations about the cult from the children. Um, and and I'm, the, I'm the leader of this. And um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sat across and they're recording this and I'm sat across from the table from the police officer asking the questions. He doesn't know how to uh, answer that because it never happened. The police were talking to him about the incident at Finchley Swimming Pool. This is a really unnecessary bit of acting, so I'm just going to speed this up for a minute. I was shipping them in, and uh, we was cooking. Uh, we were, they, they were. Um, they were. 
they were showing with their hand movements how I would get their hand on the on the knives and we would cut the baby's neck, drain the. He got a little bit tongue tied there. When he started to talk about cooking, just, uh, it's just and then horrific, suddenly changed the subject. Horrific uh, detail. Now Victoria realizes that it's time to get him to move on from what he alleges that the police asked him in the interviews. Was it abroad? You think where? your ex-partner and her new boyfriend filmed your children making these allegations, which yeah. were then uploaded onto the internet? Yeah, what, what they did, uh, they, um, they, um, they beat my kids. Uh, the cold licks, where you get a spoon and you hit the kid, I said a kid, it was in this, in this instance, it was my two children. Now you slipped up there, Ricky. Let's have a look at what your children say about Licks and you. They do like, like he wasn't sure with me, yeah. like if I will do it. So then after he gave me Licks, like hard, hard ones, I can make your head did? bleed. My, um, my, my Mickey father. Demon. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. So he gave me Licks, Licks. Till I will say like say like say that I will do it, oh, Papa. I will do it for sure. I promise you. And then after say so if I say I promise him that I will do it, then I have to. I'll have to do it. Okay. Yeah. What was the party like? I don't like the party. Why not? They touch me. Who? They kick me. My front privates. They hurt me. So um, when they um, when they stick a uh, big plaster really in my bottom, and when it bleeds, if I cry, um, he um, he, give, um, he like do you know those um, um spaghetti spoons? Yes. Like, uh, yeah? yeah. Um, those metal ones. If I cry, he hits me on the head with it. Okay. But if I cry more, he hits me again. But if I cry more, um, the my the nurse teacher, Miss Marden, yeah. she injects in me, and I a sleeping injection on my neck and then I fell asleep. Excuse me, my next thought was, okay, let's, um, uh, Ricky, you've got to go and um, start to uh, take things forward, getting to see your children more and basically to uh, uh, eventually be the care of my children. Can you imagine what your children have been through? Picture? What picture? Like um, my dad's. My dad has like um, pictures of me naked and doing sex to me when I was one years old. Okay. On his computer, he has like a photograph from like where he keeps them like a photograph. Okay. Me and Gabriel. My father learned me and Gabriel. Well, taught me and Gabriel both to fight with each other, but like worse than a cat and a dog. Okay. So I like, grip each other on the hand and like scratch them and. Then, yeah pull each other's hair and all kind of stuff okay. and then pull my hair and bang it on the floor and, and then do that kind of bad stuff Perfect. and then once my father taught me that he did taught me but he told me to take to make my father well my brother's head bleed or like like maybe like so like my brother's head bleed so that it actually ble bleed bleed yeah. so I said to have okay so you're four years old yeah. you had wine yeah. Red or white, yeah. and then it made you feel like that. And you said also he gave you white powder. You to sniff. Tell me about this. Right. And it's like um, it's like chemicals, and it like when I sniff it, like feels like I have things in my nose, like feels I got like stuff in my nose. Right. Okay. So. And it makes me like it makes me how's it called um like how's it called cough like um like. How's it called? Um, like, um, like, how's it called? Like, it just acts you like that. Yeah. It makes you feel like that. Like, how's it called? Not coughing. Like, like, huh? sneeze, sneeze. It makes, it makes you, you sneeze. sneeze yeah. Okay. So this white powder. Where did you get this white powder from? Like, um, you know, like a um, no jug. No, I mean like a packet. Like a packet. Tell me what this packet looks like. It's like seafood. It's a seafood packet, and how yeah, and big he, is it? And he and he um, he sips out on on my hand, okay. and then he tells me to sniff it. Okay, how big is this packet? Like that. Okay, 
Okay, and how much of this white stuff's in that packet? No, but he also has little mini packets. So he's got a big packet like that. Yeah, but he also gives us mini ones. Okay, so... He doesn't mini give me to put them in my pocket, like he puts mini ones. Right, so then he goes... And be it, I was uh, valent to her. I was, and, and I got domestic, like I've apparently got uh, a background of domestic violence. I don't. Were uh, you ever violent to her? Yes, uh, on two occasions, three occasions, but two occasions were the same. On one occasion, uh, because of the abuse over the years with uh, mom and myself, um, where she was just, uh, just try to hurt me just verbally in the children and, and, and so I, I, I got her glasses and I just out of frustration uh, I ripped her glasses up that was one uh, and, and two other times I uh, uh, grabbed hold of, uh, of mom with her jumper or whatever she had on and I would shake her. So why has Victoria Derbyshire fallen for Ricky Dearman's tale? She's a victim of extreme violence herself at the hands of her own father, who also denies it, but she still refuses to speak to him after 20 years. So one can only imagine what's going through her head by giving Ricky Dearman airtime. Ricky, thank you very much for talking to us. And thank you, Victoria. Thank